heavily won the major and new this week, Starcrossed. So the latest quest in the Espinal Rosa saga is here and as they say as it is said when you log in, probably the final quest. Okay. Head to Sunilaska and talk to Amrita to play the latest quest in the latest la last quest. I think they want to say last last quest in the Espinal Rosa storyline. Will you escape your pretty came in? Yes, I will. So let's go to the travel map. Folklore, Slaneska, let's go there. Okay, there. See you lose friends. Go there. Up. Fly up. There she is. Star cross. So, how did your mission go? Let's see. Quest. And there. There we are. As uh, Elrin said to these guys in the last quest that they are the ones who have fallen into a trap. So let's see what happens next. Okay. Trap? But what trap? And where? Code Orange. That is the trap. Code Orange? The alarm you just heard ringing, ringing through the jail. Code Orange is a distress call to Rose headquarters in Sword Haven. And what happens when a Code Orange rings? Only the worst. The full might of the Rose Army, as much as as much can be mustered on sudden notice, is immediately mobilized to the ruined fortress. The full might? But why? To capture the rebels that are attacking the fortress, of course. But who could summon in the Rose that summarize that the rebels would target Espinarosa? And thus, it is a perfect occasion to a cohesion to turn the fortress into a rebel trap. Acanthus? I neither he nor the Rose must know what the hero of Falcon Ridge was involved in a plot against Espinar Rosa. You must leave immediately. Why? What's so bad about the Rose finding out about this? There is no time for all those explanations. I may have given us a bit of time by interrupting the alarm almost immediately. However, I doubt it will delay them long enough if Espinar Rosa continues to remain unresponsive to any communication. We must go. So it's settled, you're coming with us? Deep sigh. It is not really a matter of choice, Muli. You will need my help making it out of the third floor. After all, Drake Slicks and Naven's company would not have made it here if I had not communicated them the way. So that voice was me, yes. Okay, so the voice that they heard to come here was Elric. Okay, hey, wait a second. If you run now, that won't prevent the Rose knowing that I was here. What do you mean? The patrol this just saw through my disguise a minute ago and did still know what that if we live. Fair point. Hmm. Ah, I know. He's gonna wipe out the memory. That's what he's gonna do. There. Now the wind of your little accident is gone. They shall not remember it. And the other two weeks too? Two weeks? Technically they've known me for more than two weeks now. That's how long I've been impersonating Ed. Hmm. I can only disperse wind when it has not echoed yet. Two weeks is far beyond the time that wind has echoed. I can do nothing about that movie. Darn it. Where is the real Ed? I wish he was here. Dragon Bark. Something up, Draco? I took care of it. I took care of it. Excuse me, but would this Ed have the same face as the mask lying on the floor so far there? Yes, yeah, that's him. Oh, in that case, he's on the he's over the beaches of Espinarosa taking a nap. What? How? Just before we were about to set sail to reach the island by boat, Draco brought us to us a big brown bag. With nothing in it other than a sleeping, snoring or so soldier. We had no clue why our dragon had taken the trouble of canning this man all this way. But Draco seemed adamant that we bring him along the island and so we did. You're awesome Draco! I'll take my payments in really special dragon chair. Hello farming. And come to think of it, I wouldn't want my disguise lying around here either. Better grab that too. This will do. Granted, it is not perfect, but it will confuse the rows just enough to keep them off your trail. So, time to hit the road? Aye. Let us go, and quickly now. And there you are on the third, mysterious third floor again. So, to cross this area, what you need to do is go down. Then go right. Then uh, down again. Right. Then up, 
then uh, right, then left, then down, and there you are. You will be uh, get this animation that you are walking away or something. Okay. Anyways, uh, I can see this light of the second floor ahead, almost there. And yes, we walk to those there. It goes all bright, and there we are, back on the second floor. Okay, we've made it. Almost. We still need to escape the fortress. That'll be a piece of cake. Let's wait. What's that glowing thing up ahead? Glowing thing? What glowing? Uh oh. Uh oh. That's our friend. Molu is everything. Oh, that's our friend. He's crying. What is that? The entrance of Espina Rosa. The rose is here. You must go now. But but what about Sam? Sam? The Rose Soldier? There is no need to worry about him, Molu. He has been taken care of just as the other members of the Rose here have. But, Molu, you and your allies go. I will stay here and delay the Rose a bit longer to make sure you escape safely. So we feel a bit sad about Sam. There is no way I am going to allow that. It is fine. I had already planned to go on my own once we had come to this point. To go our own separate ways. But. It is doubtful your path of escape was designed with another half dozen rebels and I in mind. It would be much better this way. I will use the power of the wards one last time before leaving this place to ensure it. There is still a bunch of things I'd like to know. You and I both. And speaking of which, I do have one thing for you before you go. Oh? Since the moment the mission, uh, since the moment the mission purpose of your mission here has been clear to me. I have been wondering what exactly motivated Kara to send you on such a dangerous mission for the sole purpose of escaping with me. I am certainly not the solution to all the problems that plague you with the Rose. But I do know something, know something about Acanthus and I think that it is likely or was that which was sought, something that would help you. What do you know? The Acanthus lies to everyone. The Acanthus, namely Molu, lies to Jania, the leader of the Rose. Whatever he plots and schemes about Jania has been kept out of it and may have been very well had the wool pulled over her eyes. I haven't really heard or seen, any, seen anything of Jania lately. Have you explored and delved into Sword Heaven since you came back? Not really. Then go there and get to the bottom of this. This that That's my wisdom to you. Okay, so end of Espina Rosa storyline and beginning of Sword Heaven storyline. I love this. Okay, go. Alright, but only if you do this again sometime. Preferably when we don't have chain... Happy Rose Crazies on our toll, that is. Chuckles. Now that is something I can agree to. And there, I guess, we see Sam again, who is crying. Our friendship. That's sad. Poor Sammy. And there we go. And the quest ends. Well, end of mission. Transmission over. Uh, so well I guess this is it for this video if you like what you saw please take a second to like this video and subscribe to my channel comment to if possible I'll see you guys next time so next week or probably next next week we'll have the sword heaven available and so will be the sport heaven saga it's going to be exciting bye bye